Yo, what's up guys, Sheridan here, and I'm back with another video today. And uh, before we get into the video, uh, a few quick disclaimers. First off, uh, I do not have a dual PC setup at this moment. My experience with them are was with Jimmy's setup, which was very complicated. So I wanted to make a different uh, video to explain what I think is the easiest way to set up and best way. Um, so that this is not meant to be the cheapest way. I can do a video on that if you would like, and it would be closer to what Jimmy's setup is. But I, this is like the easiest, I think. Uh, but it will. It's not going to be the cheapest setup. So uh, another disclaimer: um, the uh, there's going to be some cutting and jumping in this video, uh, depending on uh, what I'm going to explain. So we'll have some graphics on the screen behind me. I'll chroma key myself out so I can have like parts list and stuff behind me as well. So uh, hopefully um, between the description and then the behind stuff behind me and that will go over me you will uh, get a good idea of uh, what you are going to want to do so anyway let's get into the actual video I want to try to keep this as short as possible but uh, it's a lot of complicated stuff so it's gonna be hard so let's get started go 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 um, first off um, things you're gonna need to set up a dual PC setup you're obviously gonna need two PCs one of your PCs is going to be a streaming computer, and one of them is going to be a game, the gaming computer. So, uh, how do you determine which one's going to be which? If you already have two computers, let's say, whichever one has the more powerful C to make keep it simple, most powerful CPU and the best motherboard are probably going to be the candidate for your uh, streaming PC. Meanwhile, the one with the better graphics card uh, is going to be the one for the gaming PC. Uh, if you're building from scratch, I will have some ideas of uh, kind of parts list to get you started um, when you're uh, picking out parts for uh, each PC and what their tasks are going to be. Um, now, one basically one of the most important things, um, because I don't want to get into like what graphics cards you should get and stuff like that. I think that's up to you and stuff like that. I said that twice in one sentence. Um, but I, the most one of the most important things that you need to do is make sure that both motherboards have an optical audio um, jack. So that is gonna be a great help. And again, make this easy. So don't need it to do a dual PC stream, uh, streaming setup, but it makes it easier. So anyway, you got both PCs, both of them with the optical audio jacks. You're also gonna need um, obviously a display dedicated for the game PC or more than one and a uh, screen dedicated for the uh, streaming PC. Uh, you're also going to want to make sure that you get an Elgato HD 60 Pro. Again, this is to make it easy. So uh, you, there are other options that you could get. Um, and that is going to need to be installed in the streaming PC. I'll repeat again, the streaming PC. It's going to have the Elgato. Now, you're also going to want to make sure that your headset of choice is Astro. Uh, it doesn't have to be the A40s, but it has to be uh, either the A40s or the A40TRs. With, uh, so that comes with the actual mix amp, uh, so not no MX-180 or anything like that. Um, A50s are able to work, although that's a lot more complicated. So again, easiest is what we're going for here. So what you're going to do uh, is you're going to have the uh, streaming PC, ha like I said before, has the Elgato. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you have the uh, HDMI in going from the gaming PC in to the Elgato uh, in port on the uh, Elgato on the streaming PC. And then the out port uh, from the Elgato is gonna have another HDMI. And that one is gonna plug into your monitor that you're gaming on. Um, so now you've got uh, a screen, obviously. Um, so uh, your, your screen is uh, working. And so you're gaming on that. Then what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go within the uh, NVIDIA control panel. So um, I, again, this is easiest. So um, I, let's uh, say you have, you know, some kind of uh, NVIDIA graphics card, which most people do go with NVIDIA, I feel like. Um, so to get to the NVIDIA's uh, control panel, you right click uh, on your taskbar um, icon, and then uh, instead of opening the GeForce experience, you open the control panel. Then under display, you're gonna go to set up multiple displays, you're going to go to the display, which is the gaming monitor. 
uh, that you know is obviously going to have the games on it. You're going to right click it, and then you're going to click clone with, and then it's going to say clone with. If you have the Elgato set up correctly, it'll say clone with Elgato HD60 Pro. Click that. Then um, that is going to uh, what that's going to do is it's going to make it so your streaming PC is going to be cloning exactly what is showing up on your uh, game PC on that monitor that you picked. Uh, so that way that's that's the video source so you've got that uh, set up uh, there's obviously some different things you can do with that um, but that that's the basic your setup uh, moving on to audio what you're gonna need to do is uh, you're gonna get a digital audio splitter so that's gonna be a uh, two input to one output and um, what that's uh, it's important that it is that direction two in one out because what you're going to do is on the back of the astro mix amp in, there's only one optical audio port so you're going to plug into the splitter the uh, one um, optical uh, audio into one of the inputs and then you're going to plug uh, so that's from your gaming pc a motherboard Remember we specifically said that you get a motherboard with an optical audio jack so you're going to have a cord, uh, an optical audio cord. We're getting the um, signal from your gaming PC's motherboard going into the import of the uh, splitter. Um, then you're going to have another one going from the uh, input of the uh, streaming PC going in, uh, from the motherboard into the import. Then you're going to have the out port, uh, the other end, um, another optical audio. That one is going to plug into your uh, Astro Mix Amp. So that way you are able to hear both audios just in case, uh, let's say you're playing music. If you're going hardcore for performance, you're gonna want obviously that open on your streaming PC to handle anything except for the game itself, um, basically. So um, that allows you to hear both audios at the same time. And it also allows uh, the uh, Elgato to pick up both audios. Now the Elgato itself should be able to pick up both audios um, but this is like if you wanted to, as I said, have some uh, music or something else, uh, some, some source that is in the mix amp itself that is not um, on, the, on either computer. So this would be if you had a, a phone mixing in on the aux cord or something like that on the mix amp. Um, so that's what that would allow. Um, other thing you're going to, so the next thing uh, in terms of audio is, if it does not work automatically because at certain times it will that's all you really have to do but uh the other thing you're gonna have to do is maybe is you're gonna have to enable the stereo mix so what that is it's gonna be a uh it's gonna be it's a, a under sound when you type into your windows uh button on your computer just type in sound or audio and open that up and then go to recording devices and then uh, make sure you right click in the box, uh, the bigger box, and then click show disabled devices and uh, check show disconnected devices. Then uh, make sure you enable the stereo mix and once you enable the stereo mix in the properties, what you're going to be able to do is, is you're going to be able to go under the uh, level or sorry, listen and then uh, tab when you click on pro uh, click on properties of the stereo mix you're going to want to uh, go to the listen tab and then you're going to go to listen to, uh, make sure you check listen to this device and then default or playback through this device you're going to want to click the drop down menu and then make sure you select the elgato um, so that basically double ensures that the elgato is going to be getting the um the audio so that, that's like a, an insurance policy, you could say. Um, so anyway, there you go. You've got both the video and audio kind of set up pretty well. Uh, there's a few last steps that we need to do. So let's get into those. Uh, the microphone uh, that you use to record, um, you're gonna want that plugged into the stream PC. And then uh, that will be going, uh, you're gonna have to have that recording separately than the Elgato itself um, because um, since, you, you, since you might be doing some post commentary work and stuff like that, you uh, most likely want your microphone plugged into the streaming PC, which does mean you're going to need to get a secondary mic, for instance, you, or, or you can just use the Astro headset mic with, um, for your game PC. So let's say you are, 
um, want to do in-game comms, so you're playing Overwatch and you want to talk to your team, you can just use your Astro um, mic. You don't have to get a fancy mic because that is not going to be recorded. That's just what you're using for in-game, uh, uh, I was about to say text, uh, chat. So you don't really care about the quality, so just use the one that came with the microphone that you bought. Uh, or with the headset that you bought. Um, but the good news is you're obviously going to have Discord or Skype or TeamSpeak or whatever on your streaming PC. So you can actually use um, the microphone for multiple things at once. So you could have uh, OBS using your nice microphone and also have Discord using it. And, you know, what you could have you using it on a bazillion things on the streaming PC. Um, so and that's what's gonna be being picked up on video. So um, when you're recording so it doesn't matter if for in-game chat You're you you have to use another microphone, which in this case you already have one. So you don't have to get anything new uh, yeah. So there you go. So now you're you are able to record the PC You've got the audio uh, double insured basically that you're getting the audio source uh, from the Elgato and you now have your audio being picked up when you're um, uh, chatting or obviously if you're doing like post commentary work or just want to be able to boost your audio itself and not like discord uh, the rest of your friends audio then you can do that right there uh, because it's a separate source at that point on OBS so anyway I think that is basically it let me just let me just like look at this overview sheet I had here I believe we have everything set up um, so uh, just just quickly going over the most important things um, so two PCs both motherboards and each PC uh, should have an optical audio jack headset has got to be an Astro uh, headset that has a um, mix amp um, so that'd be the a40 regular editions or the a40 TRs uh, TRs the only difference is they are also uh, able to be used uh better with the next generation well yeah they work with the uh next gen consoles so if you plan on uh extending this setup to also being able to record stuff like that then you're going to want to definitely go with the trs uh, moving on from that nvidia control panel so you're going to want to make sure you have an nvidia graphics card uh obviously uh you could just go to whatever control panel comes with your uh, graphics card if you don't have an nvidia one i'm sure the settings page on that is pretty similar just go to display settings and uh, make sure you clone with Elgato uh, on the gaming display. The way Elgato is set up is um, to uh, output is from the gaming PC into the in port of your. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. It goes from your uh, gaming PC to the uh, Elgato uh, out or in port. Then, uh, which is in the streaming PC, and then the out port from the Elgato, which is on your streaming PC, is going to go f into your monitor, um, and that's the same one that you're going to want to clone on the NVIDIA control panel. And then, of course, have your nice mic uh, hooked up, uh, connected to the streaming PC, so that way you have uh, it, um, so you can use it for uh, voice comms on um, Discord and stuff like that, and also use it to uh, record uh, for the OBS. And then uh, you just use a separate mic for your in-game uh, text. I mean, just, um, you know, it's obviously going to be connected to your gaming PC. Uh, so anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm thinking we're doing pretty good. Uh, under 15 minutes for this type of video was pretty good. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will try to answer them. And like I said, I'm going to try to make sure my graphics work here is going to be good. I uh, have good screenshots and stuff like that. And I'll have like parts and stuff like that down below. Anyways, see you guys next time. And peace out.